This is my 2020 Bob of Black. I traded my Thruxton R in for this bike because the Thruxton was too uncomfortable for me to ride with my broken body. So this was a better option. The only trouble was the engine's not as powerful and I thought I'd really miss the power. But I also thought it would be a really good idea to put the Thruxton motor in this because it is power you can feel. I believe it's an extra 15 horsepower and 10 newton meters of torque, something like that. So the time has come and I have actually swapped the engine out for a Thruxton motor. The difference between the two engines is the high power motor has 11 to 1 compression and the high torque motor has 10 to 1 compression. And because of this, the fueling tables and the ignition tables need to be changed to suit. Because the ignition timing for the high torque motor is too advanced for the high power motor. So we need to change that and the fueling as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tables from the street twin map and actually put them onto my bobber map. I don't believe that you can actually just flash a street twin map onto a bobber ECU because there's differences with it like the ETV tables and stuff like that. So rather than risk damaging it, we're going to actually copy the tables for the fuel and the ignition off of the street twin map and put them on a bobber map. And I'll show you how to do that now. So we're going to be using Tune ECU to actually modify the tables and swap the tables from the speed twin map over to the bobber map and then we're going to use it to flash that to the bike. If you don't know what Tune ECU is, I've got a video all about that. I'll put a link in the description below as well. To actually modify the tables, you don't need to be connected to the bike, so you can do it anywhere you want. So you can do it in a cafe, in a pub, or at a beach, or anywhere you can get an internet connection. Right, so I'll show you how we do it now. Okay, so first thing we do, open tune ECU, and there's already a map in here, but what we need to do is we need to download the bobber map, and we need to download the speed twin map so we'll download the speed twin map first and save that on the computer so if i if i go hit map hit open and then download it will connect to the tune ecu website and database so we want triumph what are we doing speed twin we're load, downloading aren't we hit speed twin and i've done this before so i know what one i want there's several in here there's them in there, and then there's that one, which is later ones. I'll show you that later. So we're going to download that map there. Triumph Speed Twin, model year 2018 to 21. That's the one we want. So we'll download that. And it's downloading. Okay, so now this is the Speed Twin map we've got here, on here. So what I'll do now is I'll hit map and hit save. And it's asking us, do we want to create a folder for it? Yes, we do. We'll hit that and save. And now it's saved this map on my tablet in the Tune ECU directory. So now let's download the bobber map as well. So hit open, download. That's in that old directory again. So we go to Bonneville Bobber. Bob of Black from VIN 913041, which is what mine is. That map there, it's the only one there. So, Bob of Black, blah, 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 download. So it's downloading the Bob of Black map. I was doing this with some screen capture device, but the quality wasn't that good, and you couldn't see where I was pressing, so you're going to have to be looking over my shoulder to do this one. Well, I'm actually looking over your shoulder. I'm looking over the camera. So, right. So, this is now that number there, 30233. That's the bobber map. So, we're going to hit map and we hit save and create a folder for that as well. Okay. So, there's both, they're both saved to the computer and I've got the bobber map open now. So, now I want to compare my bobber map with the speed twin map. So I hit map again and hit compare. And then this is now the directory on my tablet. So I go to, where are I, Triumph Speed Twin, That's there he is from Vin blah, 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 that's the map. So now I've got two maps open. You can see they're both the numbers there. 
both the numbers there. So that one there is the bobber map, which is on top, and that one there is the speed twin map, which is underneath. If I hold my finger on it, it flicks to the one underneath, which is the speed twin, and that's the bobber. I'll actually go to the ignition tables, it's easier to see a difference there. You see, this is, this is the bobber, and you can see the ignition at 100% throttle, 100% revs is 32. If I hold my finger on it, it flips over to the one underneath, which is a speed twin map, and you can see the ignition timing's lower there. Okay, and all these little white dots on these cells, they mean that there's a, the other map is different. So there are all the differences. See them ones without any little white dots? That's the same. If I hold my finger on there, they'll all be just white like that. So now what we want to do is we want to copy that map, that, that table there, over to this table here. So to do that, just hold your finger on it until it goes to the other table, hit it twice, and that's copied that table. So now if I hit table, I can hit paste. And now that will paste that onto the bobber map. So this speed twin map now, or the table rather, is now on the bobber map. So we need to do this for all the ignition tables. So I'll scroll to the second gear, hold my finger on it, hit it twice, table copied, hit table, hit paste. Third to sixth gear, It's pretty easy, and then neutral. Right, so now I've copied them, I'm gonna save the map. So basically I'm saving the bobber map with the speed twin ignition on it. I haven't done the fuel yet, so if I hit map, hit save. Oh, what do I do then? Hit map, hit save. And what directory do we want it in? I've got a folder there for my maps. I'll put it in there. And we'll save it as, we'll change that there. We'll save it to speed bobber. Oh, here we go. Try to do all this while filming and not getting in the way of the camera and stuff. Right. Okay, so now that's if this is quite interesting. If I hold my finger on it, see it changes the name to what you've called it down there. So this is now my modified map. So we can do the same thing with the fuel tables. So if I scroll to the fuel tables. Oh no, hang on, I need to open the other map to compare it with. So, map compare, triumph, speed twin. Okay, so if you, if we go to ignition, you can see that there's no white dots, they're all the same. So let's go to our first fuel table, which is that one. Hold a finger on it. Table copied, hit table, hit paste, and now that first fuel table is the same. Do the same with the second. So that's it, that's the fuel, and I might do this load table, see if we can do that. And that one as well. So that's the fuel tables and the ignition tables copied. So now what I'll show you is the ETV tables, the electronic valve, electronic throttle valve tables. The speed twin has three tables and the bobber only has two because on a speed twin you've got road, rain and sport or race. I don't know what it is. My bobber's only got two, road and rain. So you can't actually get the other tables across 
from the speed twin I'll show you that what what happens if you try and do that so I'll just make sure my map is saved speed bob up and then we'll oh, hang on I need to open that compare that map again so compare with speed twin okay so as you can see all them tables are the same all right and this is what happens if you try and do the utv tables so i hold my finger down tap it table copied table paste everything goes to zero so you can't really do it to change them you're probably going to have to do it manually there might be a way to export it and then import it again i haven't got that advanced with it so there might be a way to do that but for now we we're not able to do that so that's how you copy the tables over so now let's do the afr tables as well so compare with speed twin no I just tried to open a bobber map and it told me the maps are identical so that's interesting it's not that much different but we will copy it all the same and the idle values in relation to temperatures are different as well so we will we'll copy that too that's the same don't need to worry about that so let's save that Do you want to overwrite the file? Yes, I do. Okay, so now I've got a speed twin map on my bobber map, apart from the ETV tables. So now it's a case of flashing this onto the bike. And if I need to mess about with the throttle valve because it's, you know, not right, then I'm have, going to have to do that manually. But it's only the position of the throttle where you're holding it, so it should ride okay. So what I'll show you now is what happens if you try to compare it with a map which isn't compatible. So we've now got my bobber map open, the modified one. So we hit map, we'll hit compare. No we won't, we need to download another map first. So we hit map, hit open, download. And if I go into speed twin again, and I go into the later VIN numbers, I believe, from 2021 with this is okay so i download that and that's 31126 remember that so map save creates a folder for it yes save okay so now if i get my bobber map open again I hope you're following me with this because it might be a little bit confusing but I'm trying to do it as best I can with doing this so speed bobber open that so that's my speed bobber map and now I need to compare that with the later speed twin map which is that one I believe what was the number of it that one wasn't it three one 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 two six okay and it says warning map type must be identical so the maps for the 21 onwards are different to the earlier ones so you can't do it like that so luckily my speed twin was the same year and I can I can do it like that so that's what happens if you try and load a map which isn't right for it so I'm 99% sure I can flash this onto the bike and we'll give it a go. Right, we're now gonna go ahead and flash that map onto the bike. I've got a battery charger connected down there, look. And also 
I've got my tablet connected to power because it's only 50% charge. Don't want that to run out in the middle of it. And I've got my OBD2 connector in there. It says on here to actually remove the fuse for headlight, but I've just put it onto the LED light and with the charger on it should be good. Right, so I hit ECU, hit connect, OBD link. Right, it's now connected. So now if I hit ECU and reprogram, it says reprogramming your bike will void the warranty. Are you sure you want to proceed? Yes, I do. Remove the headlight fuse and connect a battery charger. Okay, done that. Incorrect values can damage the engine. Yep, that's okay. And here we go. Reprogram in process. So it'll take a little while, four minutes according to this. My bike's very quick to do this with. A lot of people take 20 minutes and stuff. But we'll see what happens. If you need to know how this connects to the bike and what hardware and stuff you need and how to use Tune ECU, I do have another video of what Tune ECU is. You need to go and watch that first. Right, reprogramming done. Hit OK. Turn ignition off, discorrect battery charge, replace a fuse. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's it. It's now got the map. It's got a bobber map on it with speed twin, ignition and fueling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my little phone here as a data logger while I go out on the first ride. So, throttle position, engine speed, ignition timing. Yep, okay. So let's connect. I just want to keep an eye on what the ignition timing is. And that's recording now, and I'm just going to bung that in my backpack and forget about it. And then we'll go for a ride. I'm not going to go far. Just want to make sure everything's good, and I'm not going to open it up. <laughs> I say I'm not going to open it up at this stage. I've got my air fuel ratio gauge on there as well. It's definitely louder. Let's go see what it's like.